Life in Reviews, where we review products, subscriptions, and more. I've always loved to do this, and I love to talk about it, so leave a comment down below so I can answer some questions. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy it, and it actually helps you. If this isn't your type of content, that's okay, no judgment. So let's jump right into it. Hello! Well, he did that introduction for me. Welcome back to Life in Reviews if you're back. And if you're new, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like it. So we're gonna jump right in. We're actually doing an Amazon haul today, starting with this frying pot. This frying pot normally goes for $50 and I got it for $10. I used a group on Facebook to help me find the deals. It's called Little Bo Cheap on Facebook if you wanna go Little check that out. <laughs> Little Bo Cheap. And they also have a app that they just created, which is called Code Barn. I will link both in my description and each product I'm discussing today. This uh, pot has a lid right here that opens up and you can place your foods that you're frying right here. And this ha bottom half is open so the oil will drain back in. I loved that aspect of it. The only drawback is that you can't really lift the whole lid up without doing this. There's no real it way like to... like a metal toilet seat. It does kind of look like a metal toilet seat. And here in the South, we like to fry things, so I definitely had to grab this deal. But this is going to take some getting used to. That's okay. We're going to work with it. And how much was this before? It's normally $50, and it was received for ten dollars because i found a deal um oh and um for those that have knowledge of cooking and are wondering how thick the bottom is as far as how easy it burns i know some of us look for that the bottom is really decent it does look like it will distribute the heat really well so i'm really excited to try that if you have any questions about it or want an update definitely ask me in the comments. I love getting back to my comments. And the next thing we got for the kids as a surprise was this splash pad. I have a three year old and he is eight. They really like to play in the water. So I got them a splash pad that's also a sprinkler. They play in the sprinkler by itself. So this actually will hold a little bit of water and they can both play in it, him and his brother. So I'm excited about that. Again, if you have questions or want an update, we're going to set this up when it's not a rainy week in Mississippi. Yeah. We're excited about it though. We got that for $10 and I think it normally retails for $25. So I was excited about that. I was thrilled to tell my boys that I got them something. The most expensive thing in this haul, moving on to number three, was this massager. It's automatic. It normally retails for $109. It was on sale for 80 and I had a code to get it for 25. Again, I will link these things in the description to give you ideas and how to get discounts and look for deals. The front of it is touchscreen, the controls. This is how you turn it on at the bottom of it right here. And then it lights up and this goes up to 20. As you see, the touch screen's very sensitive. You can hear it. The touch Don't. screen's very sensitive. You do not have to press very hard. And Kaiba was pretty much getting tickled when he tried it yesterday. Oh, it goes up to 40, I think. Or that's, uh, I wonder if that's the battery life, actually. We just got this out yesterday, so. I'm not sure why it says 20 here as far as the speed. I do know it goes up to 20 and that's as high as it goes. It sounds I, like a um, uh, computer that's quiet. It does sound like that. That is what it sounds like. But I don't know what this 40 is for. So we're going to turn that down so we'll have to stop yelling in y'all's ears. Sorry, headphone users. And here it is without any additions or add-ons. I'm gonna turn this off and show the charger and the multiple um, bits that go into it and the case. <laughs> this was for all um, uh, fathers. This was a fire day present. That's correct. I got it for 
his daddy, my husband, for his Father's Day gift. I know that's a month away, but he's always got back pain and he works a service job, so he's always on his feet and he needed something like that. And don't put full power on that thing and then put on your friends. Yeah, it's, it's intense for most people, but my husband loved it and we used it for about 30 minutes right out of the package and wanted to see how long the battery la the battery lasts and it lasted up to about 30 45 minutes i didn't exactly time it sorry about that but here and is after we sew the accessories for this we're going to show you one more thing that's not from amazon okay and what here is the charger the cord, I would say, is about three feet long because I'm five feet and it's about three quarters of me, so three feet long. And it's a uh, pretty big adapter piece, so keep that in mind. This is one of the tips. It looks like a little finger so yeah, that it can cobra. dig into spots. It really look at it, it kind of looks like a cobra. It does like a cobra. And then here's one of the tips. It's a double-ended. It looks like a slingshot. Well, it's like a slingshot. And this you can sit there and twist and like go up and down and like around the spine. That's what we were doing. Here's a flat round piece. And I'm gonna show gonna you how you put- the stool. This looks like a stool. Okay, there's two ball pieces. One of them is smaller than the other, very slightly. This one isn't any more dense than this piece, so you just have two sizes of those. And then this is the last piece. It looks like a little bullet. And all of these pieces have the same ends, and all you do is just push them in there kind of firm. Don't knock it in there, like twist no, it around. You just no. gently push it in there because you can, you can see how it kind of bounces when you do that. So I wouldn't want to ruin the seal around it or pop it off. So keep that in mind, but you can just pull them out and push them back in gently. And it's not difficult. Just make sure that the end goes all the way in to the bottom of the tip. And then that's how you do it. You, that's how you change them. And, go ahead, Kyle. And, uh, and these two look like microphones. Case, it has a little net so you can actually just throw the tips in there if that's what you wanted to do and a little booklet comes in there yeah because this takes up because this takes up a lot of space so if it does just put these in here yeah you just don't feel like putting everything in its place that's okay and then it has two zippers that come from the back and it carries like a suitcase yeah if you want to save money now, I'm going to be with you, my old wallet, that I got my wallet. This, baby. <clears throat> and I got this from Walmart, just be clear, and I think this is just um a melee weapon toy. Well, you're wrong about that. It's, well, technically, you're right, but it's also a slingshot. Let me show you. You put it in here. <laughs> And here now, <coughs> oh, Kaiba, nice. show them how you pulled it at the bottom to, to load it. Okay, hold on. I have to get it reset. Go like this. Hold on. Let me hold it up for you. There you go. Until you hear clink, that's when you let go. And here's the trigger right there. You pl you press that. So make sure you're holding it with this hand. So you. So to get wet, you, or you can roll with this hand. Okay. So it's a melee hammer, and it shoots bullets out of the top like it's a regular Nerf gun. I believe this is made by Nerf. It is. It's made by Nerf, and it's a Minecraft hammer. It's Minecraft and Minecraft dungeons. <clears throat> and hold on, it's okay. Just let me show you how it suits. Hold on. Just you can't shoot at the camera. I know. Okay. Just go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. There we go. And I like how it makes the ding sound. 
know what I mean? All right, so thank you for stopping by. All of the description and info links will be in there. And this was a little bonus review from Kaiba on a product from Walmart that an eight-year-old would like if they're into Minecraft. He would like to give you that bonus content of a kid toy review. So that if you are looking for ideas for eight-year-old birthday parties or your eight-year-old that loves Minecraft, they will like that. He did buy it with his allowance, like he said, but he wanted to explain how the toy worked and that he liked the toy. So it's a good idea. <coughs> Bye.